Well, last night, more than 1,500 people packed the rooms of a Minnesota hotel as they waited for hours to hear from the Somali Prime Minister, Hamza Abdi Bari. He was in New York last week for the UN General Assembly, but once that wrapped up, he made the trek over here to Minnesota, becoming the first sitting Somali Prime Minister to come to our state. Why here? Well, there's an obvious reason. Minnesota is home to almost 87,000 Somali Americans, the most of any state in the country, making this a must come to place for the Prime Minister. And while he was here, he met with some of those Somali Americans, along with elected officials from the area. What came of it? Here's Heidi. Jana, the response for the Somali Prime Minister was huge. He spoke late last night at the Doubletree Hotel in Bloomington. Security was having to turn people away as they were at capacity. One Minnesota in particular was recognized, the founder and owner of Afro Delhi. I sat down with him today to talk about what made this visit so significant. For those who hold both these flags close to their hearts, Sunday, they came together. It's amazing. We we saw a happy that we hear it. Prime Minister Hamza Abdibari made a historic visit to Minnesota. He's the first sitting prime minister of Somalia to visit the state, home to the largest Somali American population in the country. It was very hopeful uh, to see the event that we saw last night. Abdi Rahman Kahin is the founder and owner of Afro Delhi. It's been a big year for the entrepreneur with four Afro Delhi locations in the Twin Cities. Earlier this year, the Biden administration named Kahin the National Small Business Person of the Year. Sunday, he received another surprise, this time from the Somali prime minister. Bari gave Kahin an award to recognize his achievements, dedication to community engagement, and job creation. So the, the Somali government uh, rely also on the, uh, the Somali diaspora in, in, in the United States. So they watch closely our activities. And for him coming to the state of Minnesota was a uh, you know, huge step. That, I think it was one of the highlight of the night to be recognized on behalf of the community. Kahin says the prime minister's visit is significant as the country fights against Al-Shabaab. For more than 15 years, the terrorist organization has controlled parts of Somalia. For him to uh, come to Minnesota and call everyone to be part of that uh, fight against uh, uh, the terrorists was huge. So uh, for the first time, for the, one of the first event, one of the biggest events that I remember where all community are united to support was this event. Only when the government branches work together, collaborate together, that the government can do something. The most united event that we ever organized in Minnesota. So there is a momentum. His message was uh, one of the best hope that we hear uh, so far. Earlier on Sunday, the prime minister met with Governor Walls and other elected officials to discuss how they can work together. And today he met with local religious leaders in the morning. He's now left the state. Jana.